Welcome to a quiet show. Hi, I am Sarah. Yes, today it is a quiet show. We are out in our backyard. Welcome to Sarah's Great Day. We're not in the kitchen, are we, Sarah? Yeah. What are we doing today? We are today planting basil. We're planting basil today. Um, what are we making today on the show, Sarah? We're making pesto. We are making pesto, and it is so, so good. And in the summertime, we like to have pesto, don't we? Mm -hmm. You can put it on noodles, chicken, steak. Um, you can use it a lot of ways. So when you, if you like basil or I've got some flat leaf parsley here, some cilantro, because we love to make salsa, don't we? Mm -hmm. um, go and buy a plant. And you know, if you use a lot of it, buy a couple of them. Like I got three basil plants because we really mm -hmm. eat a lot of it. So um, just go to the store, plant it, and then all summer you have herbs to make these great dishes. I like basil and capri salads too, which um, is that tomato, um, mozzarella, my basil. My favorite is, um, okay, um, I have a, exactly had one cousin what? to make. What? Um, well, I like summer. You do? But I like it in some bread and sauce. You like some bread and some sauce, but she <laughs> likes summer. Very good, Sarah. Okay, so what we do is we have a nice big What's container here, and we've already filled it about halfway full. And we've got our dirt. Get, get good dirt. Don't get topsoil, get planting soil. And it is very different this than one? just black dirt. That one. Yeah, okay. that one. And what we're gonna do is take your plant and squish it. Okay, right. And this kind of loosens up the dirt and the Stop. roots. And then tip it, Sarah, so it pops out. Do you want me to help you? Yeah, you got it. Tip it. Ooh, that one doesn't want to come. There you go. Okay. Then take the bottom, Sarah, take the bottom and kind of loosen up the roots, okay? Because they're a little bit compacted. So you're gonna actually kind of rip it, Sarah. You're gonna rip it a little bit, okay? And so now we've given those roots somewhere to live and let's make a little I hole. I have a mess. I know you have a mess. That's why we're out here. I'm gonna make a little hole and you're gonna set it in there, okay? And then we're just going to go like that around it. Okay. Okay, Sarah, do you want to do the other one? Sure. I'm telling you, we are going to have a ton, a ton of basil for this year. So I'm just really excited because we can have capri salads and pesto. Did you get it out? You hold it. There you go. Rip up the bottoms a little bit. You're doing awesome. Yep, just rip it. I know it seems crazy, doesn't it? That you'd rip it. Okay, set her down there. In the hole. Very good, Sarah. And then let's take some dirt and just fill it in. I love to plant. Me too. And you know, plant them in big containers because um, you know you want them to grow if you put them in really really small containers they're not going to get as big you're not going to get as many um, herbs out of them and and i like the containers because you can move it around with the sun as you can see we have a lot of trees here so we don't have sun everywhere so i kind of have to move these around during the day or put them on the front porch. Okay, we're gonna kind of press that soil down. Sarah, can you do that? Mm -hmm. it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. What does it smell like? Like chocolate. Like chocolate? 
Did you know they have chocolate basil? They do. I'm not kidding. There's all different kinds of basil. There's lemon basil, purple basil. This is just saint, plain old sweet basil, which is what we're gonna use. Okay, and after we plant it, <laughs> Sarah, we're gonna water it. Okay. And we're, <laughs> we're using kitchen utensils to water, right? Very good, Sarah. Okay, and then I am gonna put it on here so that the sun gets to it and then we're ready. And then we're gonna plant the rest of our herbs, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see you in the kitchen in a minute. Okay, Sarah, we are back in the kitchen. Can you show our friends what we're gonna make today? Uh, we're gonna make yummy, yummy pesto. We love pesto, don't we? Yes. We had pesto last night with Uncle Jim Bob, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and Joe yeah. and Abby. Mmm, yeah. yummy, yummy. So, um, we are going to show you the ingredients. You can pause the screen if you need to put them all together, and we'll see you back in a second. So we are going to make pesto today and the cheese that we need for that is what? Is pepper. Parmesan. Jean. Parmesan. What does that remind you of? Oh, chicken and parmesan. Chicken parmesan, Sarah's favorite. So here's some great therapy, right? Some great hand strengthening, hand-eye coordination. Um, Sarah, we can do it two ways. We can grate it, and she's gonna show you that. I love this grater because we have we need a cup and a half, and it's got measurements on the side, which is so nice, and it has a bottom to it. You gotta be careful of your fingers, don't you? I need help. Oh, you need help? I thought you were doing pretty good. Okay, not everybody can do this, so let's show you. the other way. Let's show the other way we can do it. We're, did you get your fingernail? We're gonna cut up some chunks and Sarah's gonna put them in the um, food processor. Sarah, you wanna get them in the food processor? Sure. Which is that little fancy schmancy thing there. Well, my mom got married. Yes, I did get married a long time ago. That I didn't get for my wedding gift, but daddy gave me that for an anniversary or something. Aww. How I know. cute. I know. He is cute. Okay. Now, we're going to put the lid on. And you really need a food processor to do this. Hit on. Oh, you see that pop out? Yeah. <laughs> Whee! Okay, off. Hit off. And there we go. We have what? Cheese! We have shredded Parmesan cheese for our pesto. Let's pour that in there, Sarah. Okay, because okay? now we're going to use this to make our pesto, right? Mm -hmm. We put the cheese in last. Okay. Okay. So, Sarah. This is my knife. That's your knife, which I'm not even sure you're going to need. But the first thing that we need is two cups of basil. And... This is why you plant it outside because then you just go out and you get a get some off of your plant. You can also buy it in the grocery store because not everybody wants to plant their own herbs. And we just take it until we get two cups. And and this is why you want to plant more than one plant because it, it takes a lot to get two cups, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We actually bought this plant at the grocery store. This is how they're selling basil, and then we'll go plant this. Won't we, Doobie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm hmm Okay, pour that into your, ooh, ooh, put my blade in, very sharp. 
be, be very careful. Pour in your pesto or your basil. Okay. You get it all in there. And kind of spread it around like so. There you go. Okay, the next thing that we're going to need, and by the way, we have our noodles on the back um, cooking, right? So they're just boiling away. Um, make sure you get a nice flat um, noodle. We use linguine. And you use different pastas for different sauces. And you want a wide, flat um, pasta that will collect the sauce on it. Otherwise, you can't really taste it or else you get too much if you use curly stuff. Okay, the next thing that we need are four cloves of garlic. Mm -hmm. I love garlic. It smells so good. This is a bulb of garlic, and when you break it up, you get a clove. And we've talked about this before. When it ca calls for a clove, you only want... This is a clove, so if we want four... We want four little ones, not four of these. Because if you put four of these big things in there, ooh. So, Sarah, hmm? we need four. Can you count me out four? And we need okay. four large ones. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we don't have to really cut these up very much. We just gotta get the skins off of them and um, maybe cut them in half once and then Sarah's gonna put them in the thing. Cause your your uh, food processor is gonna, is gonna um, break them up, isn't it? Mm-hmm. If you don't want to use fresh basil, they actually have basil, in, or I'm sorry, fresh garlic. They have um, fresh garlic in jars. But Sam, the cooking guy, who's on the Cooking Network or one of those shows, he made me feel bad about ever using it. So now I always get fresh garlic. He says, come on, really? But getting those skins off is tough sometimes. That could be a problem. Okay, there you go, girl. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Next, we are going to put in a cup of walnuts. And we're going to chop them up a little bit first. So, Sarah, mm -hmm. can you just kind of take the knife and just it's kind of crush? Grandma crunch. Charlie's knife. That is Grandma Charlie's knife. Yeah, and there you go. You're going to... If they're too big, it's just going to be kind of hard to get them all, all broken down. So, just do a real... A, you know, coarse chop on them. Sarah, you're rocking it with your method. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. You're getting to be quite the cook, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, here's a big one right there. Okay. Now, taking your handy-dandy um, chopping board that works so well. Oh, you're going to do that. Very good, Sarah. Can you hear the birds outside? It's a beautiful day in Indy, finally. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Way, way, way too long of a, of a winter, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it? Okay. Now let's kind of sprinkle those around in there. Okay. Sarah, mm -hmm. put the lid, pull it over. Take it, push it, until that snaps, this isn't gonna work. Okay, and we're gonna pulse it this time. So you're gonna go boom, 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 because we, we wanna kinda mix it up and chop it up. Ready, go. and get a close shot of this that is the consistency that you want okay it's kind of almost looks like dirt which doesn't oh. sound good what is it how's it smell 
Mmm, mm. it's smelling good. Okay, smelling good. now, Sarah, would you put the lid back on? Mm -hmm. Next, we are gonna add one and a, yeah, one cup <laughs> of olive oil. <laughs> Our favorite. And Sarah, do you see where the one cup line is? Yeah, Okay. Right there. Okay, so you're gonna pour that until it goes up to one cup. Now, when you add oil to um, something like this, you can't just pour it in there or it won't incorporate into the herbs and the nuts and the garlic. So we're gonna really slowly add it. And I'm gonna tell you when to stop. Sarah, you did it all by yourself. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> so Sarah is going to pour it very, very slowly through this hole in the top. And then everything has time to um, absorb it. So we're going to turn it on, not do pulse. Okay, very fine. And that's exactly how thin you want that. Can you see that, Hunter? Um, you just want it to go really, really slow. It smells so good, doesn't it, Sarah? Yeah. Okay, you do it. Keep going. You're not. Oh, that's too much. Fine, fine. That's okay. You know what to do. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> and um, I mean, that is so different than when you buy it in those jars. I think it tastes a lot better. Don't you do? Yeah. And anyway, so now we're gonna la add the last ingredients, which we're gonna take this off. Let me get this out of the way for <laughs> Hunter. Um, we've got this big, beautiful pasta bowl, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to pour it in the bottom of this pasta bowl. You don't have to heat it up because the noodles are going to heat it up, right? And watch out for your little knifey thing. Sarah, you want to use your spatula to get out the extra? Yeah, sure. I'm going to take this to the sink. Okay. That's really messy. And I just don't think it gets much easier than this, does it do? Mm -mm. You're doing awesome. You know what I like today, Sarah, is that mm -hmm. you're really doing the cooking today. I like that. Mm -hmm. You're getting better every time we shoot a show, aren't you? Okay, now, just because mommy loves pesto, I don't want to waste any of that. Okay. That is uh, goodness. It's easy, like, you know, break some bread and then, I don't know, hang all the sauce. You could, you could uh, dip some bread in that. It's pretty strong. No. Sarah, mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, and eat it. Why don't you throw that in there? Because we're going to mix that in now. Just throw the whole bowl in there. Pour it in. Just pour the whole oh, bowl in. Sorry. And then I want you to mix it with okay. this. Good job, Sarah. And you don't want to put the cheese in the um, food processor because it'll chop it up. Okay, mix that for me. Okay. And then I am going to add some salt. And it really does need some salt. So, and you can always add more. Can you get that mixed in really good? 
So when you add the hot pasta to this, it melts the cheese and it gets all gooey and it, ooh, it tastes so good. And it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. It can you guys so smell good. it? Dominic and Hunter, can you guys smell it? Okay, get some of this over here. Okay. Good job, Sarah. Okay. Thank you. Now, with the pasta, there's, you know, Sarah can't drain pasta because I'm afraid the boiling water will get her. Because it got me when I was young, burned my stomach really, really bad. So it's just kind of dangerous for kids to do that. So there's two ways that we can do it. Um, your mom or an adult can do it and do it through a regular strainer. Or there's also kind of this deep frying spoon that you can use. But just either way, it'll work. And you just simply dip this in and pull up the noodles. Um, I'm not going to do this today just for time. And I'm going to take this over to the um, stove really, or to the sink and drain our pasta. You do that, okay? Keep stirring okay. that. Sure. Because this is so hot. Okay. And this recipe will make two pounds of pasta, which is two boxes. That's a lot. Save some of your water from your noodles. You ready, sister? Mm -hmm. And what happens is the pasta has starch in it, and then it, woohoo! That is like, I'm making a big old mess back here behind us. Did I get you? Yeah. Even though I was trying to be so safe. Mm -hmm. Pour it on top, get a big spoon, and a big fork and just scoop. Look at the color. Sarah's getting excited. Sarah, you want to go get our bowls and our, our forks over there? And just keep moving it. Put this out on the table and your family just, oh, they go crazy and they're like, Sarah, you're such a good cook. <laughs> Still trying to get that mix. This is great. You want to try this, Sarah? Yeah. Do you want to try stirring it? No. No. It is really heavy. It is. Okay, and we're just about, you can see the green coming through. Okay, does that mean we're ready? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give Sarah Woo! a little. Ooh, look at all that. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, and can I have... I'm gonna have a little bit too, cause it is my favorite also. A little extra there. <laughs> okay, put that over there. Now, Sarah, that's cheese. Mm -hmm. Was it a good day or a great day? Good day. It was a great day. Thank you so much for joining us today on Sarah's Great Day. Make sure you sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is called what? Sarah's, Sarah's Great, great day. day. And we will see you next time. Have a great day.